Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the third and final of these premiere thingy majiggers. I'm a flare in the ATR again from here in Madrid. I'm going up to Andorra today. And that's probably using this Andorra livery. Very nice thing for this one actually. Iberia, Iberia Regional, Air Nostrum, Andorra. What airline is it honestly? But either way we are flying one of those airlines to uh, Andorra today. An hour, an hour's flight time, not too long. So without further ado, we're going to get into the cockpit and get to flying today to uh, Andorra. So then, first things first, we need to uh, get GSX set up. Okay, uh, request boarding. So that's not worked. Request boarding. Boarding requested. Thank you. And we'll get Iberia uh, handling. Right, first things first. Crew? Just the crew, thanks. Crew bus is coming. So the first things first, we'll get the uh, uh, payload. No, nope. aircraft ground power. And there we go. Main door, tail prop, and cargo door. That'll do. Okay, moving on. Battery on. Wait a few seconds. And get the external power on as well. There we go. Nav lights can come on. Uh, emergency exit lights armed. No, uh, no devices yet. Okay. Oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we'll do the uh, FMC. Crew boarding starting. Position. Get the GPS, there we go. Flight plan, we're flying from Madrid, Liam Echo Mike Delta, and we're going to Andorra, which is Liam Echo Sierra Uniform, and the flight number, or the call sign rather, is uh, Alpha November Echo 53 Uniform Foxtrot, so quite a mouthful of a call sign. There we go. Execute that and the route. Departing when we. Uh, I actually don't even know which one we to depart on. I think it's one four right. So we go with that. Your passenger's bus is coming. The SID is the Pinar Four Bravo. Pinar Four Bravo. Yeah. Execute that. Okay. UN eight seventy two Xerox. is this Serox, there we go. Right. UL one one zero to Rebel. Okay, that's that. And then the arrival. Any uh, time today? There we go. 
on of the 03 and it's on the uh, Rebel 1 Foxtrot arrival. Is that via Upisa? Yeah, it is. Okay, and that's the entire flight plan done. We'll come back to here, wait. Let me just do that on the uh, EFB. Wrong view. Wrong view again. Wrong view. There we go. Are the packs boarding? Not oh, they are. These packs are in for a treat today. A nice flight to Andorra. Delivery is quite interesting. It really is. That's a nice screenshot angle actually. Go with that. Right. Anyway, performance. That's what you want, I mean, don't want payload either. Load aircraft. Zero fuel weight today is gonna be uh 19,472 Fuel weight is going to be 2,100 There we go And that is all of that Passengers I have got According to GSX I've got 58 packs on board Right, is that all fine? I'm just going to say it's all fine, honestly. Right. How long are these guys going to be boarding this bloody plane nicely? Anyway. Hydrate power. Get all of those on. Windshield heating. Get that one as well. And the probe as well. Why not? Set the uh, Q and H. There we go. Reset the fuel used. There we go. Okay, pretty much ready for pushing the start actually. But I've still got lots of packs pouring the plane, so. go for a little walk around whilst we uh, wait for the packs to board. But yes, very nice plane it really is. The uh, ATR. I strongly advise to purchase it if you've got the money for it. Only 10 quid. Absolute bargain.
And there is Hoogie flying along with us today. That's a boring livery. Mine's a lot better, as you can see. Right, I'll come back when I'm ready to taxi because uh, these pies are taking ages. I was a short break, I'm back, and I was uh, waiting for like 10 minutes, wondering where the baggage went, and it's finally turned up. The baggage has finally come, and we've now got some bags. However, back very shortly again when the uh, bags are all on. Right, so now back, we can start the engine, so uh, we'll do that. Switch that to run, start AMV, turn the prop brake on, actually no, 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 no. Mature traffic. Press that. Airborne 3819 is clear of then one way one a right, left, mature traffic. Then start that, wait a few seconds, add the fuel. Wait for it to fully load up. Okay, we can never move the external power and the ground power. Now start A. Switch that to run. Turn that on. Wait a few seconds again. And start. Press that, press that. Turn that off. Flip these up to water. Put the TRU on. Actually, I can't do it yet. Let's wait a few more seconds. Can we do it now? There we go. Set the flaps to about half. There we go. Tax light on. Beacon light on, strobe logo, that's all fine. Uh, performance, confirm takeoff data. Go back to the map. Two config test. And that is pretty much it, we can now start taxi. It's going to be a long, long taxi, I tell you. So I'll skip most of it. Madrid traffic, Air Nostrum, 5-3, uniform, Foxtrot taxi into uh, Kilo 2, runway 1-4 left, via Whisky November 2, uh, X-Ray 4, X-Ray 3, Sierra 3, Alpha 17, Alpha 23, Alpha 17, and Kilo 2. That's a pretty long taxi, I tell you. But either way, get the parking brake off and we'll get going. Why can't I move here? That's a good start. Have I set, have I, uh, set the wrong throttle? Hmm. There we go.
it's an extremely uh, long taxi so uh, I think I'll just skip this part and we'll skip over to uh, the actual takeoff itself so I'll be back in like two seconds and I've teleported to the runway okay we're now back I'm about to uh, line up now I'll hold here for a minute. Why is it still moving? Midway traffic, uh, an Austrian fire train from Foxtrot taken off from a 14 right on the Pinal 4 Bravo departure. Okay, where are the park can we can get going? It's a bit windy, 60 knot crosswind at the minute. Lord of hell. Climb power. That flaps up. No. <laughs> Can I go autopilot? Switch there was off. Switch there was off. Switch at a standard. There we go. Can now enjoy this departure. Look at the state of that uh, fella there, full of muck and m m mold and all that stuff. Very nice. So we're climbing to 20,000 feet now. <coughs> You can see Madrid in the background there, just about. Very hazy there.
nice screenshot there. Let's have a look at today's route now then. They've left Madrid, departed on there. Now we're heading south east at the minute. We'll turn left eventually up to Pine R here and then we'll continue easty, north easty, easty, northy, up to Andorra which is here. The airport's not in Andorra but it's, it pretty much serves Andorra. It's just up the road. So. And it's also on like a cliff as well. The side of it's on a, it's on like a big drop. So if you Basically, if you fall off the runway, you're pretty much long gone, you're dead. You fall down a huge cliff, but either way. We're at 10,000 feet now. Halfway to cruise on. Okay, we'll get the uh, London lights off now. On the wind light, see it well signs. Okay, that's fine. Right, I'll come back when I uh, get to cruise alt, I guess. Okay, I've now reached cruise alt, pretty much. Uh, we've not got very far, we can still see Madrid in the background. Well, I did see it about a minute when I've lost it. Where's Madrid? It should be uh, to the left. I have Madrid there, I can see the just about. But you're actually making good progress.
and I think I'm not going to uh, do the entire cruise alt, so uh, I'll speed up for you folks with some uh, nice music, very nice. So I guess we'll go and do that now, I guess. Fly through that valley down there into the airport. Should be, should be a nice pair of tracks. We'll check Volanta as well. So we've currently flown across uh, northeastern Spain, and now we're heading in towards Andorra. Hergi is. Uh, where's Hergi? Oh, it's just there. Look. About, I don't know, 20 miles behind maybe. And that's well updated, I'll, uh, I'll join you back. Well, I'll meet you back when I am uh, up here, well, on final approach. Here we're now coming in on approach at 10,000 feet, roughly the airport's about 20 miles out. Get the seatbelt sign back on. 
All of those as well. I think I can see the room actually. There it's just there. It is a bit offset, but either way. We'll start off in the flaps 15. Flaps full. Bloody hell, this plane does not like me, I tell you. <coughs> I'm gonna cheat and uh, wipe by the time if it's just too dark, honestly. I'll do five minutes earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna fly manual now, actually. Just to. Uh, Get a long enough final approach because we are offset, so I'd rather have a nice straight in approach for about two or three miles at least. And it's a very short run, it's like literally uh, a kilometre long. So. very nose down that bloody hell. Andorra traffic in Austrian five three and a four and four stroke very short finals from way zero three. It's quite a nice approach this in this uh, valley thing. These puppies seem a bit off, honestly. 
four white, so I'm pretty much bang on the glide slope here. was a brilliant London actually. It sounded bad but it was actually a good London that honestly. I'm happy with that one. Pandora traffic uh, in Austrian, 5 for uniform, Fox track back tracking runway 03. Pandora traffic Okay, gust lock on. Probe heat can go off. And the TRU can go off as well. And the landing lights. And those. Here, launch GS6 and gets down to one. That'd be nice, thanks. The requested position is already assigned to another aircraft. Why is he that close? Or is it she? Oh, there's Hergie coming in. Hit the parking brake. Shut that off. Shut that off.
now have it. We can now request a boarding. The boarding requested. Passenger's bus is coming. Come and watch here, Glenn. That's a bit far out, actually. It's very far out. What is the signal? It's from the World Update. I think it's World Update 5. Passengers to boarding starting. Very nice. And that's it, Ergus down. And on that note, I'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. And I'll be live again soon. Thanks to Hugo for flying along and goodbye. Actually, no, Volanta. Volanta. Minus 340, having a laugh. But oh well. There we go. Goodbye.